Hi, my name's John. If you've come here to watch anything about steam engines, traction engines, milling, grinding or welding, you've come to the wrong place because tonight there's going to be a cooking video. I've been asked by a friend of mine, in fact he sent us a, a recipe up, if I could show how to make some Derbyshire oat cakes. It's a very simple recipe, I've never done it before, but I have had plenty of Derbyshire oat cakes to eat every time I go out to say the lad, he always brings some. So I'm going to bring a camera in, I'll show you the ingredients and show you exactly what to do to make Derbyshire oat cakes. Right, the ingredients are very simple, 120 grams of plain white flour, bread making flour, 120 grams of oatmeal, that's finely ground porridge oats, then we'll have a teaspoonful of salt, and a teaspoonful of sugar. In here I've got 500ml of warm milk, in which I'm going to put a sachet of yeast. Mix the yeast in with the water after I'm it. That's just warm to the touch. Right, this is simply added to the mix. You could use a food mixer or an electric drill as I've been known to use, but it doesn't take a few of mixing by hand. Once that's all thoroughly blended, I'm sure we'll get all of the yeast out of there. Oh, John, you are a messy bastard, you are. I'm going to give it a whiz with a food mixer just to try and break up the oats flakes a little bit more. To me this is a very dangerous thing. Uh. Right. We need to cover this for roughly an hour, hour and a half till the yeast does its job and the butter will become all nice and bubbly and lively. So I'm going to cover it up, put it on. I don't normally use cling film, I don't like it, I don't get on with it. But the wife's not here so I can use it. You see what I mean? It's not. Right, it's covered up. We'll leave that alone now. Right, the yeast's done its job, you can see all the little bubbles. It's a bit like making home brew, I suppose. That batter's a little bit thick, so I'm going to put a drop of water in or a little drop of milk. Probably water just to thin it out a little bit. I suppose it's experimenting to see how thick you want your batter. Probably the same as pancake mix, I would think. Right now for the interesting bit. This is a 10 inch frying pan. You can use a flat plate or a griddle but this should do the job. The noise you can hear now is just the extractor fan running. Keep us in the good books. Small amount of oil or whatever oil you prefer to cook in. Right. First one full ladle full. 
Do you want to get the palm chopped in the fall out of the I've got a big gas ring on the back of the hog top, I might try using that. I do not got enough heat here. See little bubbles form as it cooks, which is exactly what's happening. Once that surface dries out, that's when it's time to turn them over. Well, it looks, it's not looking too bad. So, once again. The oil, a couple of squirts is enough. Get some serious heat into the pan now. And then that ladle full. Last one. So I've got another cake here and I've got one of my favourites on some spam and some cheese. I'm just going to roll it up like a pancake. And there's only one thing I've got to say now, and that's bon appetit, body lard. And they're very good. Really good. I think the next time I'll um, get finer ground oats and try that. And what Peter the lad who sent the recipe suggested was, if you decide to cook some of these, send us a picture of any of them. That's me, even if it's just up there. We'll have a little competition. The winner I'll probably get one of these aprons or a, a double boost cup, or I'll cut you some on the platter table. Just something to brighten things up a little bit. Um, anyway, that's about it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing and as always a massive thanks for all our well wishes. Mm. A little bit of oil, you clumsy bastard. <laughs>